Oh, this, I think I got a really nice bass on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to net this guy. Wow. Oh. Holy cow. This guy is strong. I think this could be my biggest of the season. Oh, I got him. Wow. Oh. Oh boy, and he wasn't hooked that well either. Oh. Look at that. That is definitely my biggest one of the season. Let's see how long it is. 22 inches. That's significantly bigger than any bass I've got this season. Wow. Just make sure this camera is recording. Yeah, it is. <laughs> See you later, guy. I'm casting towards a rocky shoal with a yellow Canadian wiggler. which I will show you in just a sec once I get it out of this net. I got it on this lure here. So it's the 17th of September today. Uh, hunting season started on Sunday. I went out yesterday and it's too hot. I mean, it's it was about 25, 26 degrees yesterday and today it's going to go up maybe even slightly higher. So I figured yeah, this would be a nice way, uh, day to be on the lake. I haven't been fishing for a while since I came back from Dog Lake, so I've been itching to go. And I think fall bass may just be starting. I mean, that one that I just got right there was, a, I'm gonna say four pounds. I mean, if I do get another big one, I will weigh it. Well, four hours of fishing, I caught two fish. My biggest smallmouth bass of the season, 22 inches. Previously, I said four pounds, but I'm gonna say five plus. And I also caught maybe one of my smallest bass of the season. Probably two ounces. <laughs> it was a lot smaller than the lure anyway. Well, I was all over Dunlop Lake and I caught both fish in about the same spot midway down. Anyway, so much for that. I hope you enjoyed it. And until I see you again, take care now.